Hey everybody, it's Jack here with your Wayfinder 20th Anniversary Tale. Um, this one we will go way back to, god, I think it was Finale, back when we had Finale Camp, 2012, I believe. Um, and at, so at this point I am like 14 years old, might have been might have been 15 might have been 2013 i can't remember um but up until this point you know i've been going to camp since i was eight i was very afraid of re and death um my first game i died i was really sad about it and so i would often uh be a cleric and just straight sanctuary all the time it's a little embarrassing to admit now but so it was anyway this game uh, it was written by Brennan and Molly, Molly Ostertag, and uh, we were uh, refugees in a sort of astral realm as, as the rest of the universe was being consumed by the forces of darkness. Um, and I was the kid of, I think, like, the village. Someone important in the village. It was Chris. Chris LaChapelle. And... Um, I had an older brother who was sort of like the golden child. He was like very, he was like an archer. And I had a weird astral mutation, which anyone born in the astral realm had a sort of weird mutation. And so I, my, I had a golden hand that couldn't really move. So I couldn't be an archer. Um, so instead I became a artisan um, and had some other, had some other magic that I could use as well. Um, and so at the start of the game, there were these traveling uh, circus performers, and uh, they were bound by some evil uh, force of darkness person. And so me and the other uh, astral kids of the village started going around and using um, break hex on all of them to free them from, from their bondage. And um, we, we were called the Astral Crusaders, and we were like teen uh, heroes, and it was a, a real dream, dream come true for me, to the point where at the end of the night they were going to sort of send us to a safe place because the forces of darkness had interceded, as the forces of darkness are wont to do, and uh, we refused. We were like, listen guys, while you were all talking and having your tavern scene, we were going around and freeing some circus performers, so check yourself. So then the next day, uh, our adventures continued. All of our circus performers uh, were freed and, and helping us out. Uh, but now we had to contend with the forces of darkness trying to murder us. Um, and the forces of darkness did murder my dad. They murdered Chris right in front of me. And they were chasing after us. Um, Ruben Pacheco had a big sword. I can't quite remember what his deal was. Uh, but we were running away and I had this big old shield that I had gotten. It was a magical shield. And I realized he was gonna he was gonna catch us and kill all of us if I didn't do something. So I stood my ground. And I said, "Come and get me." And he killed me so hard. And I had this beautiful death. Everyone ran away, but then I believe I was on the ground long enough that when the coast was clear, they they came back and sort of grieved my body. Um, instead of they they changed their names from the Astral Crusaders to Cole's Crusaders. My name was Cole. And, uh, and yeah, and then I, that's, that is when I learned that, that to have a truly great life, you must have a great death. 